Lil Kane yeah, keeps yeah, it down man. to earth with his response to the comparisons, letting people know it's cool, but he's going to prove it's not. His it's youth. not even comparisons, bro. Like, like it, it's certain King Von then did right, and then I do it, and then motherfuckers be like, "Oh, you trying to be like King Von?" No, that's just what be going on in Chicago. Like, what the fuck you think King Von was on? Like, that's how we talk, bro. I let niggas have literally commented, "Why you trying to talk like Von?" Fo, we from the same place, Jordy. Like, what are you talking about? These exotic boys, smoke exotic ops. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic glocks. Tied to pull up real fast, ugh, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guap. What am I dead, nigga? What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Not jacking that. I'm not jacking that. What am I dead? My son? He's on the way. My son, Doug, he's on the way. And so like come brr, brr, grr. You know how we rocking man yeah, Bumba clot I'm tweaking Hey what y'all on though man It's your boy Mac Moolah AK Mr. Moolah Mac I'm back with another video Y'all know how we rocking over here man Y'all know how we keep it kind of stocking over here man Cushion my pocket over here man Come on man Smash that thumbs up button Hit that subscribe button If you're new to the channel Follow your boy on the gram Follow your boy on Twitch If you ain't already And subscribe to all my channels I'm talking about all my channels The links are in the description you ain't gonna wanna tweak, you ain't gonna wanna sleep. Get over there, Shorty. Stop tweaking. Stop geeking. Do your thug these now. I know y'all see this shirt right here. This is a very nice shirt. Guap Heels, Broken Hearts. Not love. You gotta cross the love out. F love. Guap. Heels, Broken Hearts. That's what I be trying to tell y'all all the time on these videos, man. This is one of my first designs for my first clothing line, though. It's gonna be dropping real soon. Y'all stay on the lookout, Shorty. Y'all know how we do, man. I'm talking about good. What? Hear that? That's good. This, come on, man. This is really designer shit. Y'all just ain't know that. Ski. <laughs> Crazy man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna scroll up some thank you. Yeah, Krita. What's going on with your boy Dusty Low K? Pound! Nah, niggas a couple outside. Of no face, no cases. Niggas outside. A couple, couple of, of no face, no cases. A couple of apes. A couple of apes. Huh. Did they be Bunch trying to talk like that or is that just. Get me. So you get me. Why all the New York niggas talk like that? You know that's the straight. And the f like it's set up to the grave. I was born and raised, grew up. Yeah. Yeah. They call it the floss, right? Yeah, they call it the floss. Neighborhood, rolling 60. Straight from Allegedly. 60. Said, neighborhood. What you mad about? I come from the same. I still up my knee if need. Go, what's up? Like, died. <laughs> Took pop from us too soon. So, he's just trying to figure out who the next pop. But little do this know. There is no next pop. And now no, your no big homie pop. give you energy. That's when y'all get energy. I don't need a big homie to give me energy. How about that? How about that? Y'all need a big homie to put a battery in y'all back and stop from the dancing and now you a spinner. This is not trying to hear knockoffs in this world. Like, you feel me? Like, we want to hear the real deal. So I'm going to try and get y'all pop smoke music as much as I possibly can. Hey, yo, squad. What's the drill? Back with another video, man. You know Pop Smoke opened the door for Canarsie rappers and set the blueprint. The hell he may Canarsie be gone, mean? but his legacy has inspired his childhood. Hold on, pause. He just said that like, what the f*** does Canarsie mean, bro? He said that like, I'm supposed to know. What that mean? Homie and brother in Woo and Rolling 60's affiliate Dusty Locaine to pick up the mic. He's been hailed as the next Pop Smoke, but we all know Pop didn't survive to really enjoy his fame. Right. Loke's whip was rumored to be shot up, and now he's locked on gun charges after surrendering himself. Dang. The lifestyle of the trenches is catching up. Can he beat the oh, trap known like as that. the streets and not fall like those that came before him? We'll find out. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Dusty Locaine was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, specifically the 95th set of Flossy Canarsie. Flossy Coming Canarsie. up with his what Haitian mean, pops bro? and Trinidadian moms, Dusty Locaine mostly listened to Caribbean music like soca that his parents would play. As a youngin', around the Crip culture in his neighborhood, Dusty Locaine experienced the gang environment from early on. People from the hood is, um, you grew up in it. Like, it's, it's not really okay, like you picked it up here along the way. Right. Uh, you're right. seeing this consistently. Feel me day in and day out through, year, through the years passing, so it becomes again, it's a name. But before he became a real problem to the ops, he was being a little menace. This right here is where it all started for me in terms of school. It's where I met the cars, pop, long live the cars, you know that. 
the mic, no pop, yeah. the pop. Coming up where Dusty Low Kane was from, the option really was between three lifestyles. Either you hoop, you go to get your education and get a proper job, or you turn to the trenches. And what is life like back in Canarsie for those who don't know? Oh, Canarsie so is a neighborhood. Like, it's like any regular, any regular, any regular um, kid growing up in the hood, like, you got a choice to make as whether you know, like I said, you're going you to stay in your, in your books, get a good education, get a good job, or you turn to the streets, or you have hoop dreams. But me, I was focused on basketball, so that was my main, that, that was my main like goal to like be a basketball player. You know, but that didn't turn out, you know that shit. So I was, like I said, through high school, I still jack rips, all that, but I was an active game. But I would say this right real quick, it ain't nothing wrong with no regular job. Like a lot of niggas with regular job are rich. Like, you know that, right? You know it's CFOs and CIOs and, you know, C-suite executives in a lot of these companies. Like, you feel what I'm saying? A lot of people become partners at law firms at 25, 26 years old. Do you know what that means? You know what an engineer is? An architect? Like, these are jobs that pay hundreds, of, if not millions of dollars. You're going to be rich. You might not be rich as hell like Steve Harvey and millions of, you feel me? But... You can live a good life, bro. You can have you five, six kids, a wife that don't work, off being a lawyer, off going to school, bro. Real, you just gotta pick the right. Shit. Don't think it's lame though. Just because you an engineer don't mean you wouldn't pop a nigga if he played with you and your wife. That don't mean you lame or you a soft or you a goofy because you went to school. You feel me? That don't make you lame or none of that, folk. Like on bro, like put that shit out there. But then when you know, the fan. I had to turn to that, you know. Juggling the vices of the streets and trying to go pro was a recipe for disaster. And sure Hell enough, yeah. that disaster came with the quickness when he touched down at junior college. It was mm -hmm. a culture shock with hella distractions, and Low Kane didn't have the discipline to stay focused and already being involved in the streets. In the street. That side of things took over, and within a right. semester and a half, bro was getting into it with the ops and was let go. When I got up there, I started tweaking. I wasn't really even going to class, I wasn't going to practice. And then um, started getting nine altercations with niggas, and then they tossed me. And just like that, his hoop dream was gone. But the trenches was there to catch his fall. By 17 years old, Dusty Low Kane was baptized in the waters of the streets and emerged as an affiliate of the Roller 60s, earning his name. I jacked Crip before I was Crip. I walk around with a flag around my head, take the train, all of that. Right, right, I was right, right. even on the set. Feel me? Like that was just—it was just like I said, it was something. It was just, uh, I f through the heavy, I f with the, with the with the whole culture. Outside was the spot, and Lope was there with his drillers and hitters, the apes and the wolves. Y'all see, I got my mind them with me. A couple of faces, oh, nah. a couple outside. of no face, no cases. It's outside. A couple of straights, oh, a couple outside. of apes. Okay. You understand oh. me? A, huh, a bunch of wolves. Oh. You get me? So, you know how we, you know how we come. Big Lope was on the prowl, That's Dusty Lope came that that, his uh, new... uh, what you call it? No, I think... What's that nigga name? Casanova. What he like gorilla? He like gorilla stone or some shit like that or some gorilla ape. I don't know. Goddamn shit. Y'all tell me, folks. Who titled the Don <laughs> Dusty? Know, like, no you know, but then you could see like I'm getting into that that Don if, Dusty. Feel me? Oh, El okay. Padrino. You said what? Don what Dusty. Don Dusty. Is that, that like yeah, a... yeah, yeah. That's that's what we stepping into. That's who I am. He made a mistake. Many do. The moment you take an oath with the streets, it's a game of cat and mouse with the ops and the law. And there's only so long you can escape both. Hold on, y'all. Before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I got to tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all. And I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm going to give you instructional videos, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily, for you to understand these different categories. We're talking about business, financial literacy, credit, crypto, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about dropshipping, we're talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're going to get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're going to get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock 24-7 to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call-outs. That means all you got to do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make somebody all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Brogade. Stop waiting, 
Stop procrastinating. Click the first link in the description right now, especially if you want to be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you want to put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots, and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. In 2019, the low got jammed. Not once, but twice, back to back. For what? The cops caught him lacking, and according to him, he was facing crazy numbers. What I was looking at, I'm not even lie, the numbers they was giving me at first was crazy. New York. So I didn't have, I didn't know my bill. I didn't know nothing what was going on with me. It was something serious, but no one would know until the consequences were still his freedom. Right. But at that point, it seemed all good in the hood from the outside. Right. Inside his mind, though, he was going through it. He knew he was going to do something big to change his life. He just didn't know what it was going to be. When I found out that I was getting released, you feel me? Like they, they granted bail. Mm. I, I would say probably three days. No, I'm lying. Probably about a day and a half after that, I got out. Mm. Two words. After I got out, I was telling everybody, like, yo, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to take over. <laughs> I'm like, with what? I'm like, so oh, he no. discovered the thing that changed his life, social media. Dusty Low King didn't have a social media account himself, mm -hmm. but his man's hopped on live on Facebook and the big loke was in the background looking like Don Dusty. <laughs> the baddies on the live was going crazy over, bro. I for like two hours, bro. Right. On the, like, I want to say an hour and 30, <laughs> or jumping. <laughs> who is this thing? like, who the <laughs> <laughs> with the, the dogs get through with the flag going in the deep voice so the light bulb went off he had the attention of the shorties he could use that platform to do something yeah, yeah, this is where rap know. comes into but, the picture yeah. dusty was heavy on chicago drill and he felt like it painted his life he could really relate to it straight off the porch right into like chicago drill yeah i ain't gonna lie that's to me you know why though because i like you could you could understand where they're coming from yeah they like it's, it was just so close to home so he got yeah. on the ground making his first post in june 2020 and the man's first post was telling dudes he gonna boom him in person dudes was already trying to test down dusty in the comments but the baddies were in a chokehold in the past low kane was already in the stew with his homies that rap cool it throw me bun a little one two junkies drink a little now after that, I'll just be chilling, and then if they get tired, I right, trust me. Right, right, right. You got the look, you got the voice, go do that, cuz. But he only messed around with a freestyle or two back when his mans was really trying to push it. Sitting in a cell, though, Dusty Locaine had a lot on his chest about right. his path and his future. He right. had time to think. He was broke, down, and going through it and yeah, needed to yeah. step his bag up. In the beginning, it wasn't about the music as much. Right, 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 right. Like I said, I was broke. Ain't had no funds. Feel me? I want to do better things in life. I needed a bag. Then coming home, the issues with rivals. Dusty Locaine needed an outlet. When I first came home, I got into a little situation with some, huh? We're not going to say names, but with some, uh, I'll say, uh, not the other side, but people who was portraying to be the other side. Okay. And um, I wanted to do something about it, but you know, now I'm going to today telling you to chill, cuz. Like. So he started his grind in the music. Then he dropped all the emotion into a freestyle when he was in the stew and he heard a dope beat. It became his breakout single, Rolling and Controlling Freestyle. Okay. Dusty Locaine was up and the track was fire. Social media heavyweights like DJ Ghost and DJ Academics discovered the track and reviewed right. it on their channels and they was rocking with the kid. Right. That just sent his numbers up even higher. Now a nigga really starting to understand what's going on. I'm here for this shit. It's ah! really funny. Right now, the track is at a whopping 45 million views. Damn. It was a green light, and he kept up with the bangers like it. Rolando, and then switched up the flow to a more melodic style on Intro to Me Part 1, and the Young Blue assisted track, What You Need. In an interview the Big Loke did with Bootleg Kev, he let it be known that he originally liked singing and was even in the church choir turning up yeah. with the vocals, so it's a part of his style. He caught the attention of the a r at Empire, Bobby okay, Fisher, that saw his talent and believed in his vision okay, for greatness. Dear. With Bobby on his team, their partnership was like fate. Dusty yeah. Locaine signed the Empire for 175k, and within three months, his paper got up to one mil. One Don me. Dusty was securing hella bags. One and me. our Empire, from when we met, it was just a situation where I could have got easily taken for a joke. I mean, right. I, first deal I signed for 175k, split three ways. Split I was blessed, ways. thankful, with no music out. Let right. me mm. buy three years, three months passed. I mean, and they had to up my. To an M. The stew became Low Kane's home, months, pumping out tracks and grinding through the do? entire pandemic, stacking up vaults of bangers. Bro went from dead, broke, and locked to one of Brooklyn's finest doing it. Still, his quick rise to success had many pointing out the obvious comparisons to his slain homie Pop Smoke. 
He's had to deal with that backlash, but he never once downplays Pop. Instead, he lifts him up for opening the doors for Canarsie artists. I keep going, so if it wasn't for him, none of this would have been possible, I see. Lil Kane yeah, keeps yeah. it down to earth with his response to the comparisons, letting people know it's cool, but he's going to prove it's through not, his It's music. not even comparisons, bro. Like, it just be like this, like, folk. Like, it, it's certain sh King Von then did, right? And then I do it, and then motherfuckers be like, oh, you trying to be like King Von? No. That's just what be going on in Chicago. Like, what the f you think King Von was on? Like, that's how we talk, bro. I let niggas have literally commented, why are you trying to talk like Von? Fuck, we from the same place, Jordy. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you know why DC Young Fly sounds so much like Chris Tucker? Because Chris Tucker from Atlanta. And if you go to Atlanta, you're going to see... A lot of Chris Tucker's around. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You go to New York, you're going to see a lot of big, dark-skinned niggas with tattoos and deep voices. You already know, you know, you know, you know the vibes? Casanova, well, come on, gang. All these niggas look just alike. They act alike. They talk, they talk the same. They mannerisms the same. Like, they from the same spot. You feel me? So it ain't even like a pop smoke. Like, this is just New York, bro. It's not like he just the first one to blow, so people going to compare him and shit. It ain't. Motherfucker be we, like saying stupid shit. It's not comparing a nigga to Pop Smoke. Like, why would you? You're not comparing him to Pop Smoke. You're comparing him to New York because it's a million Pop Smokes, bro. You feel me? But now, now y'all, every time a nigga, a dark skinned nigga come out with a deep voice in New York, he Pop Smoke, right? Like, no, bro. You feel me? Like, Pop Smoke sounded just like 50 Cent 20 years later. You know why? Because they all, they from the same spot, bro. I y'all like, watch y'all motherfuckers don't be getting Music that they're not the same and he's not copying smoke. Lil' Kane was making a good transition to fame and handling the critiques Even the music and being sound, more that's the welcome style of music the in New York, though, He like. had to learn that he's popular now and everyone that comes up ain't an op. Adjusting to, like, the, 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 the fame. Because when I'm used to seeing it, somebody staring at me for too long and preying my body, I think we got beef, like... Already, that's the type of time I'm on. Low Kane was no, shooting to the top, but remember, he's rolling 60 to Big Low. Even if you're up, that life always trying to catch you slipping. Yeah. Dusty Low Kane used paranoia to keep him sharp and acting yeah. right when he's out. My pa paranoia is really what keep me sane. Like me always being on go, always watching my surroundings. Oh, it, it, it put me in a place where I know I well. If I was lackadaisical with this, it's a possibility this could happen, but I'm always going to be on it, so nothing could happen. And in the off chance he was caught off guard, he had his double M, aka Militant Mind Brothers, right behind him to step on anybody's neck that tried to violate. How, like, when you be in Brooklyn, bro, do you be watching how you move and stuff, bro? Like, you be with security? Look, I'm going to show you about this. Nah, fifth, us number them double M's. The double M's stand for Militant Mind. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So but on July 16th, 2021, reports surfaced that Dusty Low Kane was targeted in an attempt no, they to, to smoke Manchester him, bro? where four people were injured. Reports Damn. state that just before 2 a.m., a 15 passenger van was shot on the interstate oh. of 293. I thought they were going to say 15 passengers, Scott. I'm going to say God. Diggity damn. Mount <laughs> Avenue and later oh, arrived oh, at Elliott Hospital with four people who were injured. Okay. It goes on to say that state police verified the van was carrying people that left the Jewel nightclub in Manchester. People outside the hospital said that they had been in the van where they were with Dusty Locane and others who were performing at the nightclub. However, right. Kevin Grossi with Audible Treats, a publicist for Lil' Kane, responded saying Loke was not in the van that was shot. Right. He performed at the nightclub and he and his crew made it home safely without incident. The big Loke gave everybody a scare, right. but the maybe ops knew better else. and was back to business. He like, released his debut album, Untamed, and kept it pushing was, forward. Was it was clear skies overhead, or so he thought. It ain't a street rapper without some beef to go with the cheese he's making. Right. Over his rise, the Don Dusty got into it online with one of the rappers named Quelly Wu. And guess how it all came about? Of course, a shorty. So boom, mm. Quelly was in tour with some mm -hmm. other dudes online. Apparently, Quelly mad that dudes was piping down his girl. I oh mean, dude God. posted a video of his shorty feeding him man, I should go on that nigga grave right now. So now you mad? Cause like, come on, bro. In bed, so I guess I can understand. Ah, you mad, Drizzy in the air? I know you're not mad because the bro. And 
how a quail was heated. But come on, bruh, you beef, murk one another, and then she move on to the next dude. Nah, but for yeah, real. Like, dudes when at it online. You think you, you think her life finna stop cause you like get go to jail or something? Like, bro, these girls be in their twenties, bro. Would you want your daughter to never talk to another man again cause her stupid ass boyfriend got because he was arguing over her on Instagram? Would you want that for your daughter? If you if the answer no, bro, you can't expect that for somebody else. Cause that's these all somebody daughters, bro. Real deal, like. And over old girl, and then Dusty Locaine people was up and commented, laughing at the fact that dudes was taking turns on Quelly Shorty. Quelly wasn't backing down. That pride had to okay, lash out. It taking turns on Quelly Shorty. Quelly. I don't know why you talking. You only sanction on one block at Canarsie. Niggas will violate you, young man. You only sanction on one block. Niggas will violate you. My girl got took and I'm mad. But he hurt. He hurt. He wasn't backing down. That pride had to lash out. It turned into an online back and forth between Quell and the Big Low. Screenshot and messages. Get your weird. You an internet thug. You an internet warrior. Work the wrong woman. Don Dusty was letting it be known Nobody that he cares, might be in the industry bro. now, but he's still big Spray rolling 60s controlling. Like. Sometime on his IG, he posted up in the whip with the caption Snoover K L L P S, aka Long Live Pop Smoke, as a diss to the rivals, the Hoovers. This the fifth club finest. I ain't for the politics, but I ain't for the drama. And for the six, I'm killing shit. I put that on my mom. But the beef hey, wasn't over. Pop, smoke Pop crazy, Smoke's though. bro would later oh, post now. up multiple vids online targeting who everybody thought to be Lil Kane, disrespecting every Pop Smoke impersonator and who's trying to use his name for clout. Pop died. This took Pop from us too soon. So just trying to figure out who the next Pop. But little do this know. There is no next pop. The Big Loke in a series of response vids set the record straight for everyone talking about they don't be sad, bro. Okay, My, LeBron James is not Jordan, but he is the next Michael Jordan. Saying that after Kobe, at least, which means he's the next nigga to take over the league and run it, and it be him, and, it, and he be the one. So they not saying... The next pop smoke, like you finna duplicate them literally. They just saying the next pop smoke, as in the next nigga out of Brooklyn to take over and go big. That's all people be saying, bro. Like, you feel me? I feel like people be getting over offended about shit that don't be that serious a lot. And they be causing friction and problems. And then niggas end up getting smoked behind a list that don't even matter because you took it the wrong way. Like, folk. That's not all, that's all, you feel me? Niggas don't be trying to disrespect or try to say like, oh yeah, it's easy to copy him, he won shit. Like, ain't nobody saying that. If some, if I said something about the next Chief Keef, I would be just saying the next nigga that come out of Chicago that turned everybody up, it was King Von, right? Who gonna be the next King Von? The next Chief Keef after Von is who? The next nigga out of Chicago to come up, be young as hell, come up, turn up, turn everybody up, come turn his hood up, and have money in the city and and, and, and signing rappers and, and making a way for most Chicago rappers and like who gonna be the next one? That's what the question be, gang. It don't be like for it don't be all like, his name and then being fake in person and not before calling dudes out for being gay on the low. I am on the fifth, nine five. Y'all know where I reside. Majority of y'all done put up on a blizz and seen me. Passed on a blizz and seen me dead up. I ain't never hear nobody talk crazy to me in the real life, bro. <laughs> so for all y'all clown ass is that steady fucking with the strength that, oh, you feel as if this is what's going on here or this is what I'm trying to do. Then yeah, I'm, you understand me? I'm guys, bro. I never did that. Pop right. Smoke's bro seemed to take that as a diss to him and shot back in his remarks. This time, bro was furious, going as far as bringing mobs into the mix. I bet if I right now and sing her to sleep, you would never say that again, because I'm going to be a pops. You really going to be, then you going to really have to call me pop. It's like the beefs was just coming up more and more, the more fame he got. Turns out somewhere along the line, Dusty Locaine had smoke with Brooklyn rapper Sleepy Hollow too. And Sleepy Girl was online with him saying Dusty is whack and they don't really rock with him. Yeah, Dusty Locaine is Indy, I'm sure this not Big Loke had a message for all his ops. Apparently, all of them passed press. See, I can't do them. That's why I can't talk. Look, you, Jesse Locan is whack. We not jacking. Girl, shut your ass up. That's why I don't like when girls do all the extra, shit, bro. 
Cause I don't know if a girl understand, bro. Like you could get a nigga for real. Like shut the fuck up. That's why I can't have no girl to just be yapping at the mouth. Why are you talking about such so-called ops niggas? I'm supposed to be here too with. Why are you talking about them on Instagram? Sit your ass right here, be cute, and don't say nothing. Do some shit with me. Kiss me. You talk about loving hip hop or your nails or something. The hell? You supposed to be saying, babe, just leave it alone. You ain't supposed to be instigating. A lot of these females sometimes be instigating and they be getting, bro, like, females don't understand the power you got over a niggas. You feel me? Because I'm going to keep it a buck fifty on Phonum Grave. If every fine female in the world, every single one, all four billion of them, if every bad female in the world said, I don't like bad boys, I don't like niggas that gang bang, I don't like niggas that sag they pants, I don't like goofy niggas, if you ain't making money, focused on yourself, and, 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 and uh, sophisticated, I'm not even going to talk to you. I guarantee you, you will see a better world because all the niggas be acting sophisticated. I swear to God, on everything I love. Y'all control all of this, females. Like, understand that. So you got to understand that on the good and where, what they say, great power, great responsibility. You can't be saying like that. I see a lot of, a lot of times where a girl will get a nigga killed because you tweaking, because you saying too much on the phone. Because you on Instagram Live, because you posting locations, because you, you feel me? And that's why as niggas, y'all better stop start picking y'all, man. I'm and Future you. thought because he was out the streets, it meant that the streets was out of him. And he reminded them that Nina can catch a body anytime still. What you mad about? I come from the same shit. I still up my Nina if need be. Go, what's up? Like... Later on, it seemed like him and Quelly at least squashed their beef and linked up to cause mayhem. Well, cool. The industry came with fame, but Lil Kane had to deal with everything else that came with it. But it was nothing he couldn't handle until the real gang spun the block and the boys in blue got him on November 24th, 2022. Yeah. The truth about his past arrest came to light when Dusty Lil Kane shared an IG post saying he's turning himself in on November 30th for a case he's been fighting and he's going away for a short bid. Dusty was feeling it mostly for his parents cause they really did good by him. Right. And worse, his pops is in law enforcement field so it was Damn. all falling back on him. Right. Reports would begin surfacing stating that Locaine pleaded guilty to two charges, criminal possession of a weapon stemming from 2019 and 2020 offenses, which includes a mandatory minimum of one year with a maximum of three years. Oh, okay. Currently, Dusty Locaine is incarcerated doing bad, his though. bid. For how long, time will tell. But he posted pics behind bars in December 20. 22 the okay. latest post of low was in january by bobby fisher on his ig saying he's still in good spirits don good. dusty been still keeping the momentum going the best he could releasing a project from behind bars it's That's still early in his stint so it's a game against time now to see if him and his career can hold up i, I hope, hope so it do. i hope it do man That's still one to three i thought they was gonna throw the book at his new york you know they ass be tweaking i thought they two possession what oh yeah fifty thousand years Six years in the hole. You know, they be tweaking up there. Oh, my God. I wouldn't even jaywalk up there. Anyway, uh, yeah, folks. I, I hope he get out and go crazy on Funnel Grave. But he got to leave the streets alone, gang. All that. going, All that. Everything. Leave it alone, skate. Skate and aid.